So this video is just gonna be talking about slow motion, the different kinds you can get, how you set it up in your camera, what they all look like, and ultimately how you edit it. So if that's something you think you're interested in, stick around. First of all, thanks for watching today. If you're not already, subscribe down below to become part of my channel. Help me to help you guys learn stuff by helping me grow this channel. So this is a guide basically for people who are brand new to slow motion. They want to learn about it, how it works, that kind of thing. So everything I talk about today is going to be related to specifically Sony cameras. Now you can apply a lot of this to Canon and Panasonic too. The basic principles are all the same. So a lot of modern day cameras now have the ability to shoot in slow motion. There are two different kinds of slow motion currently available in most cameras, 60 frames a second and 120 frames a second. So your camera may have one of those modes. Obviously 120 is gonna be better, but 60 frames a second is still good and still very usable. So more often than not, when you're shooting with your camera, you're gonna be shooting in a regular frame rate, which is probably 24 frames a second or 30 frames a second. The first thing you need to be able to do to film properly in slow motion uh, is to set up your camera so that it's either in the 60 or the 120 frames a second. That's gonna allow you then when you're editing in Final Cut or Premiere to slow it right down. All right, so I'm gonna show you the settings here in an A6000. Remember I said you can apply the same things to your Canon or your Panasonic. You just have to find kind of the similar menu. Same thing goes for if you're shooting with an A6300, 6500 or another Sony camera. Look for the menu that looks very similar to this. It's gonna be one of the first menus that you can see. So let's see if I can do this backwards. Wow close up to the camera here. So you're ready to take a picture or shoot a video. You have to tap on the menu button there. You're gonna be in the first tab and you wanna to scroll to number two. Oh, wrong way. So first tab, number two. And you see how there you have the record setting. If you click on that, you have 60, 30, and 24. That refers to your frame rate. So 24 or 30 is what you'd regularly shoot most video at. And the 50M there means megabits per second. The higher the megabits per second, the better the quality of the video is gonna be. Um, we only have the 50 option here. If you're shooting a different camera, you might have uh, 100. 60 is what you're gonna wanna select for 60 frames a second, which is basic slow-mo. Uh, if you have 120, it will be in here too, but we're gonna select 60. There's one other kind of rule or guideline that you might wanna apply when shooting in slow motion. You don't have to do this by any means, but it just kind of makes everything look a little bit more natural. And that is to double the shutter speed over your frame rate. So what I mean by that is if you're shooting in 60 frames a second, your shutter speed wants to be double that or as close as you can get to that. So if you're shooting in 60 frames a second, you'd want to have your shutter speed as close as you can get to double that, which would be 125. If you're shooting in 120 frames a second, you would want your shutter speed to be probably like 250. Or As I said, you don't have to do this by any means. It's just kind of like a one of those rules that's like a guideline kind of thing. So as you've got everything set up now, you just go ahead and shoot your video as normal. So now I'm gonna shoot exactly the same thing with both my cameras, the A6000 and the 6300. So the A6000 I'm gonna shoot at 60 frames a second and the A6300 I'm gonna shoot 120 frames a second. And then I'm gonna show you both slowed down to show you the difference you can get between the two. This is what 60 frames a second looks like slowed down. And this is what 120 frames a second looks like slowed down. So as you can see, there's a big difference in the ability of how slow you can get it. That's because you're shooting a lot more frames per second at 120 versus 60. 120 frames a second will give you a lot more flexibility to slow down a lot more when you're editing later on. 60 frames a second, you can slow down from anything to like 50 to 70% of its regular speed, and it still looks smooth. With 120 frames a second, you can go down as low as 35% of its regular speed and it still looks really smooth. Those are kind of my rules in terms of how slow I go down when it comes to editing in post. Let's quickly talk about video quality too. So I'm not gonna go into the details as to why it does this, but you just need to know it does. The more you slow down video, the lesser your quality is gonna be. If you're shooting in 1080, it's still gonna be 1080. It's just your quality isn't gonna look as good. And the reason for that is to do with the megabits, uh, but I said I'm not gonna bore you with that. So yeah, if you're interested in that, just look it up somewhere else. All right, now let's go to Premiere because that's what I use and we will show you how to edit. So before we start onto the computer to show you how to edit in Premiere Pro, let me just start by saying, I know there's other ways to do this. You may know a different way. There are more technical details involved with things like frame rates, importing one frame rate into a different frame rate sequence, that kind of thing. I know, I get it. 
this isn't for those people. This is for people that maybe have never slowed down clips before in Premiere and they wanna learn how to do it. So a real basic tutorial on just how to slow it down in Premiere. That's all we're doing today. Okay, let's do it. I have my footage saved here in a folder called Slow Motion. Let's go ahead and load up Premiere Pro. All right, so once it's loaded, create a new project. Head over to where you have saved your footage, in my case on the desktop, in a folder called Slow Motion, and specify that as the place you wanna create your project. This is gonna load up a window. There is no sequence in here already. Uh, as you can see, it says drop media here to create a sequence. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Import the footage. Head to the desktop, Slow Motion, and import that. This is where I said there are more technical details you can deal with. When you drag a clip into here, it's gonna make your sequence entirely based off of whatever the settings are here. So if this is 120 frames a second, your sequence is gonna be 120 frames a second. I don't wanna get into the detail of that too much. That can be another video. This is basic how to slow down your footage. So let's drag in two clips, 120, 160 frames a second. Let's do the car there. That's from the A6300, so 120 frames a second. And then let's do the same thing with the A6000. Uh, which is 60 frames a second. So two ways you can slow down the footage quickly and easily. The first way, right click on the clip, go to speed or duration, and then basically percentage. So if you want it to be half as fast, it's 50%. A third as fast, 30%. Just know that with 120 frames a second, 35% is about the limit you can go to before it starts to look a little less smooth. So let's go 40 just to be safe. 40% of its regular speed. There is one other way you can change the speed. Let's do it on the other clips. So Command and R, that's a shortcut uh, using your keyboard, much quicker, less clicks. With 60 frames a second video, you can actually slow it down to about 50% and it still looks good, so 50%. So now, if we look at the same shot, so this is 120 frames a second. You see there, crazy smooth, really nice and slow. Let's look at the same thing on 60 frames a second. still smooth, it's just not quite as slow. So there you go, that was quickly how to slow down your footage in Premiere Pro. Once again, right click on the clip, speed duration, specify the speed you want it to go in terms of a percentage. The other way, Command and R, and it will load up the same window and slow it down that way. Let's go back to the video. Quick pro tip for you. If you have the option available inside your camera and on some Sony's you do, the A6300 I am shooting with, I have this option. 6000 I don't, but I'll show you where it is. You have on your dial options for saving favorites. You have a one and a two. I have my option one set to shooting at 120 frames a second and then option two at 24 frames a second, but in 4K. So you can quickly swap between the two without having to go into all your menus and fiddle around every time. Good pro tip. So I hope I taught you something today, a quick video about slow motion, how you'd shoot slow motion, what it looks like, uh, and how you'd edit it too. So if I taught you something today, or if you like this video, hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a part of it. Help me to help you guys learn stuff by helping me grow this channel. So thanks for watching, and I will see you hopefully in another video.